Good morning from Golden, Colorado. And yesterday, as you know from the vlog, it was very beautiful and sunshiny. Today, well, let's take a look. So as you can see, it looks like we got about five inches or so overnight. It's gonna make for a fun morning commute. Remember the parking lot view from yesterday? Here it is today. Lunch today happens to be coffee and a computer at a local uh, old coffee shop slash bookstore. It's a pretty cool little place here in Golden, Colorado. It's time to let my son drive me home, which should be fun today, because it snowed. You ready to drive us home safely now? <laughs> hey, what's your language? <laughs> Okay, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about this thing I'm calling an employability score. It'll help you to understand this if you visualize in your mind a dashboard of all the different things that you've done throughout your career. All your experiences, where you went to school, all the different things that you've done, all listed out one after another, a dashboard. Now before we go further, I wanna take a step back. You and I, every day, we leave behind a digital footprint. And what I mean by that is, anything that we do online says something about ourselves. So if you go to Amazon and you buy something, that says something about you. If you go to Facebook and you post something, you like something, you comment on something, that says something about you. Now as you have the vision of the dashboard in your mind, I also want you to think about something that's called clout. I don't know if you've ever heard of clout, but clout is a social measurement. You get a score between uh, zero and 100, and basically what clout does with that score is it measures your social influence level. So the higher your score is, the more value you're assigned in clout's system to say, hey, this person is a big time social influencer. What clout looks at are your activities online, what you like, what you don't like, what you post, and how many retweets do you get. Those are all signals to the clout algorithm that the computes this score that it calls your cloud score. Now, operating independently of that is another company called Crystal Nose. That's Crystal, K-N-O-W-S, crystalnose.com. And what Crystal does is finds all your digital footprint and it brings it all back in and puts it into its proprietary algorithm and it creates a personality profile for you based on the disk assessment. Between cloud who's calculating already your level of social influence and assigning you a score. And Crystal knows who's able to put together a personality assessment. It only seems natural to me that at some point, someone is gonna develop an algorithm that will begin to tie all these algorithms together into one algorithm that will give an employability score. There was a famous quote by someone, and honestly, I can't remember who it was, so maybe it's not really that all, all that famous. But the quote goes something like this. Everything around you is mathematics and everything around you is numbers. And if you look at your career like that and you really stop to think, what is it about my career that could be converted into a potential number? For starters, think about where you went to college or if you even went to college at all. Based on the answer to those questions, a numerical value could be assigned. For example, did you go to college? Yes, 100 points. But let's say you went to Harvard. That's worth 500 points. Did you not go to college? No, zero points. Hopefully you see the point, is that you can assign, if you will, a score to any experience or anything that you can think of along your career progression. The average time you stayed in a position or the average time you stayed with a company, careers very much parallel an Xbox game or any video game. As you start any video game, you, you start with the most basic player that there is. And everything that you do from that point on either gives you skill points or experience points. Your career is really no different if you think about it. You go to college, you get out, you take your first job, you have nothing, you start at the beginning. And then everything that you do after that, every role you take, every experience you have, every skill set you gain, you earn credibility points, if you will, in those particular areas. And those points are what help you move 
from one job, one role, one company to the next. So you can see just from that logic, it doesn't take a big, huge leap, especially with the amount of data that's available on each and every one of us out there to come up with something down the road that's gonna resemble an employability score. Now think about job descriptions five, 10 years down the road from now. Not only will they say here's the title, but they could specify here's the minimum employability score. Why am I bringing this up today? Well, just this past week in the United States, our Congress voted against a resolution that would have helped us maintain our internet privacy. And because of this vote last week, ISPs, internet service providers, can be allowed to sell your personal search results to companies. Initially, companies that will purchase this are gonna purchase it because they're gonna wanna sell you something. Now, obviously, the more information they have on you about your online activities, they'll begin to specifically target ads, coupons, commercials, whatever, at you, trying to entice you to buy something. So now that sounds like it might be okay, right? But what if your internet search history was actually used as a part of an employability score? How would you like to have your personal search results out there for everybody to see? And that's why it's extremely important for us to pay attention to our digital footprint because within five years, someone will develop an algorithm that will pull together all of our digital footprints and they will create an employability score. And with that, we'll call today's vlog done. So in a sense, what this vote, vote, now before we want to move,